Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. And CES 2022 is going on and we got some GPU announcements. Are you going to be able to get them? Probably not. They're probably already scalped as we're speaking, but... We got some new GPU announcements, so we'll talk about that. Death Stranding Director's Cut is coming to PC, and we have an update for Xbox Game Pass with a bunch of new titles coming there, so we'll talk that at the end of this video. I do kid about them being scalped already. If you're diligent about it, you can get a GPU. It's just very, very difficult, more difficult than it should be. But hey, that goes for a lot of things right now. PlayStation 5s, Xbox Series Xs, GPUs, included GPUs probably to a more egregious degree, but... um. Yeah, the GeForce RTX 3050 has been revealed. This will be launching January 27th for $250, so this is looking like a pretty compelling uh, mid-range option. Again, January 27th, 8GB uh, GPU here, so they already pictured a bunch of different models, and you're going to have a variety of them to pick from. Looks like the GPU is going to be pretty solid as an entry level rig that uh, for an entry level rig that you can a GPU that you can put in you know in a probably six to seven hundred dollar build. Uh, let's just say in a timeline where the GPU is readily available and you could buy it whenever you want. Guardians of the Galaxy getting really solid frame rates. Uh, COD Black Ops Cold War, Doom Eternal, F1 2021, and Control were the games that they did showcase on the graph. So. You know, once we see actual benchmarks, that'll be a little bit more interesting. But nevertheless, always nice to have an accessible option, more accessible options as far as graphics cards go. Um, you know, uh, will this be bought up? Probably. Uh, just about everything gets bought up at this stage of the game. And I do think the 3050 is going to be something people are going to be looking at. Because you have to remember, uh, there were a lot of people that had like 1080s that really want to up their cheap hue right now. Because... Essentially, what happens is a lot of people buy a GPU, take a generation or two off, and then buy another GPU. So there's a lot of people that have either a 980 or a 1080 that want to get, let's say, a 3070 or a 3080. That's also true for other GPUs of those generations on lower-end models. People that have a 960 or a 1060, and they want to get you know, whatever, a 1660 Super or an RTX 3050. This is going to be an in-demand GPU. Maybe not as in-demand as a 3070. That seems to be the GPU everybody really, really wants. But I still see this being a relatively hot ticket item and uh, something that's going to go out of stock fairly quickly. So if you do want to get one, Twitter notifications on, you know, the bot accounts and everything like that are your best bet going on Newegg, the Newegg shuffles. Everything like that uh, is a pretty good idea. Also, we had the announcement of the RTX uh, 3090 Ti. So this is going to be the, you know, people with FU money. Yeah, you're going to be going with the 3090 Ti. Now, remember, the 3090 launched at an MSRP of $1,499 nowadays. You know, let's actually go on eBay. I would uh, find it kind of fascinating to figure out how much RTX 3090s are. So uh, you're talking close to three grand. Uh, twenty seven hundred to twenty eight fifty seems to be uh, some of the best prices you get. I see a pre owned uh, thirty ninety for twenty five hundred dollars. So that's you know, if, if we take it at twenty eight hundred dollars and it's fifteen hundred bucks, the thirty ninety Ti I would imagine would be around seventeen to eighteen. So I could easily see this going up to thirty two to thirty five hundred dollars on the second hand market, which is absolutely disgusting. But I'm sure it'll be a beast of a GPU for those of you that can afford it. Um, you know, probably not uh, for most of us. I would definitely not get a GPU at this level. It's just uh, when you get this high end, it starts becoming a thing of diminishing returns. Like you really want to hit that sweet spot. Ideally, if you want the most bang for your buck and, you know, a GPU like this, I easily see it being bought up very, very quickly. But I thought I would mention that as well. All right, moving on from that, I do also want to note that Death Stranding Director's Cut is coming to PC and will be one of the first titles to support Intel's new upscaling technology. Uh, that's XESS. Now, Death Stranding Director's Cut, if you don't know, is the extension to Death Stranding. It was released at $50 on PlayStation 5. However, if you had Death Stranding on PlayStation 4, it was a $10 upgrade, had some additional content. I would imagine it would be a $10 upgrade here as well, um, you know, just because I would imagine they'd like to keep parity with the PlayStation release and not annoy people on PlayStation. But I believe Deep Silver will be the ones uh, publishing this as well. So if it's not a Sony published title, um, I guess the ball would be in Deep Silver's court, but I imagine there would be a discussion between Deep Silver and Sony about the upgrade process. Nevertheless, uh, 
you know, if you already have Death Stranding, it's a high quality title on PC, so I would recommend checking it out. But at this point, you know, wait on it, wait for Director's Cut to come out, see what they price it at, and then after that, wait for it to go on sale. You know, you could probably get it by when it comes out, let's say it comes out in April. You know, probably by August, I could see it easily being 20 to $25, so that might be something worthwhile to check out. Lastly, I do want to note the Xbox Game Pass updates that are coming in February. Excuse me, not February, we're still in January. That are coming soon. Uh, that, that's what we should uh, clarify it as. And these are all coming prior to uh, January the 15th, actually. So yeah, these are all coming uh, relatively soon. Uh, first of all, we have Ember, which is a pretty cool little title. I really like the look of the game. It's one that I've been following here and there, uh, but it's a game that's been out on PC since September of 2021. Uh, looks like a quirky little game, you know, nothing that will sell people on Game Pass, but another game to add there. Outer Wilds is being added, so that's definitely a major, major inclusion, but most notably is probably Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which is just coming to EA Play, so if you have EA Play standalone, you can play through that as well, but obviously Game Pass will give you access to EA Play on top of that. That's a great addition. And then also, kind of notably, uh, Splunky 2 will be coming to Xbox Game Pass. There's a couple other titles. Those are the ones that I did want to mention and stood out to me the most. Uh, I should also note the Anacrusis, which will be available on day one with Xbox Game Pass. That's a four-player cooperative first-person shooter set on board a massive starship. So... You know, day one titles are always going to be uh, pretty good additions. A couple games are leaving Xbox Game Pass as well. That's always going to be a bummer, but you're going to have ro games rotating in and out. Leaving January 15th includes Desperados 3, Ghost of a Tale uh, on console, Kingdom Hearts 3, Mountain Blade Warband, uh, Pandemic, and then Y2K, a postmodern RPG. So, yeah, there you go with that. Still quality additions to Xbox Game Pass. And that's going to do it for me. Again, GeForce RTX 3050 has been revealed, launching January 27th for $249 MSRP. Remember that based on the third-party releases, it could be a little bit more expensive, even on like a new egg or something. But we're talking 260 to 270, and then when it gets scalped up, which I do imagine it will, I would imagine it would go to, you know, 350, 400, maybe 450. Uh, that's a big range, so let's go with 400, uh, but we'll see how that turns out. Uh, the RTX 3090 Ti, that's going to be super expensive. We don't have a release date for this one. We don't have a confirmed MSRP either, but yeah, if you got FU money, definitely <laughs> maybe something to keep an eye on. Dead Stranding Director's Cut is dropping on PC, and a solid Xbox Game Pass update coming uh, very soon with a couple of notable titles. That's going to do it for me. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.